Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 and 4 of the Chorus Recoil. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at myself, I'm, just, I'm trying to, like... <laughs> My hair was messed up, and I was just, like, over here, like, messing with it, trying to make it back to where it was. It was a hassle. <laughs> Other than that, it's gotta get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. Alright. Ain't this the same thing from episode one? Yeah. I mean, you know, once again, she okay? She alive? talking to secretly over here like I'm secretly done with this shit like oh my god like mm. my poor Ume <laughs> <laughs> my girl is like mm -hmm. I really gotta be here do I like damn <laughs> I mean okay well since it's still Wednesday for me in episode one and two um, have come out. I love how everybody is enjoying this. I, I mean, majority, like, between Saturday and today, everybody freaked out over this. I mean, and I'm glad. I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying this because, like I said, this was something that I really wanted to watch. And now that I'm finally watching it, I'm just like, thank you. Like, oh my god. It just, it feels right. <laughs> But I feel like something else is going to happen in this episode. Is it going to trump, like, yesterday's freaking Chainsaw Man? I don't know. I mean, because yesterday's Chainsaw Man was nuts. Very nuts. And I was going to watch this yesterday, but after I was done, I was just like, I want to lay down. I want to play on my tablet and get my, you know, because I'm playing so many freaking rhythm games, so many freaking events, freaking anniversaries, and it's so many things to do with so little time. Yes. I mean, hey, at least she made herself at home. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Did she really just ask why she's been? No, my loner baby. <laughs> no, she's not done. <laughs> oh. 
Well, if she's got to go, you know, talking to Miss Ume, you might, might as well go too. Yeah, funny enough, it is raining here today in Florida. It's great. Mm. <laughs> oh, damn, honey. <laughs> she gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> Oh, what well, damn. And of course, that's Erica. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Secure. It figures they're all orphans. <laughs> I mean, but still, she does have independence. She gets to go wherever she wants. And she lives on her own, so... That's a plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she could have got that ally killed, though. Let's think about that. <laughs>
Well, that's bullshit. Let me guess, you're the successor. Oh, that's her girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, you know what? Let me go ahead and say this. Fuki is a little bitch. Like, I don't know if anybody said this when they watched it. You know, you probably thought it. I just need to be the one to say it. Probably everybody did, though. But, like, girl, this chick. That you had a home and safety and protection? She's right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just did it in a different way, but, you know, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, and even if you talk to her, it's still not going to work. No. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> mhm. Mm I mean, yeah, she tried talking to her. Well, of course she's gonna go. And she just dodges them like it's nothing. <laughs> He's okay and I love it. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I mean, obviously, that was a chap. Like. <laughs> Gotcha and gotcha good.
Good job, baby. Yeah, she just, you know, mm, she is good. <laughs> Yeah, you want to say binar? Oh. <laughs> mhm. Mm episode three. Oh my god stop it oh they so cute like oh she's such a big baby smile today oh my god like oh baby putting her guard down and everything that's so freaking cute oh my god I'm gonna cry Oh, God, yeah, if you didn't ship them by episode one or two, you probably, yeah, by episode three, everybody shipped them officially. <laughs> oh, my God, they just so fucking adorable, like, Jesus. They too freaking cute. I mean, oh, my God, like, that's diabetic cute. Like, Jesus Christ, like, the fact is that she picked her up and spun her around. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I'm dead. I am dead. That mock battle was really good, though. I mean, damn. And the fact that she was just waiting for Takina to just, like, make, like, a decision and just come in on her own. That was sweet. Mm hmm That's girl from material. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cute. Like, oh, my God. But to see where, you know, Takina was originally staying at. Like, yeah, it is a really nice place and stuff. But, see, now it makes me, like, have so many questions on Jisato and like her situation because of what they called her um the tower hero so hopefully we get something on that and I'm guessing this more when we get into the second half of this show because there's still a lot of unanswered questions on that situation because all we know is that in the in the opening there's an explosion at Tokyo Tower and then boom and then that's it so we really don't get any questions on that or I'm mean, not questions answers oh my god I'm sorry 
But, yeah, something tells me with that situation, that's more of the second half of the show. And that's when it gets, like, really, 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 really emotional damage. <laughs> so it's like, it, because in a weird way, okay, this is kind of giving me feels, too. And it's funny because this anime is also an original only anime, too. And I don't really see a lot of people talking about this show because, in a way... Everybody likes to joke that COVID killed the fandom. <laughs> Which I, I feel like it did because of the fact is, like, as someone who is still a part of it, I barely see even, like, any merch coming out for it, anything else coming for it. The state, well, no, of course, like, once an anime is done, like, say, you barely really pr promote anything unless, like, it's something brand new. So the anime I'm talking about is that Billionaire Detective series where it's, like, cutesy, wholesome and everything, you know, with two guys. And you're like, yeah, I kind of shipped them. But, you know, me at the same time, I was like, yes, I shipped them. But, god dang, he looks nice. <laughs> and then we get to the second half of the show, and then next thing you know, it it's dark and it feels like I'm getting that with this where it's like oh my god this is so cute and wholesome like oh this is just look at look at the two girls look at the girlfriends just bonding every single week and then we get to episode six and that's when things get fun really fun and such I mean no well technically we kind of got that way really like as of last week but I feel like yeah by episode six like oh yeah that's gonna that's gonna be fun. Like, ooh. Not like, you know, <laughs> if I could compare it to something. Not like um, Resident Evil 4 where you had to help or really, you know, have Ashley as your, you know, little partner for the rest of the damn game. And, you know, if she dies, that's a big old game over. Who's ready for that remake? Not me. I mean, well, yeah, I am. But I'm scared at the same time. <laughs> Too, because I don't know what to expect even though I played the original but I mean yeah it was a good episode I loved it like oh my god <laughs> too many fangirl moments like stop it but no give me more moments between them because they're so freaking cute and such like babies <laughs> girlfriends <laughs> they marry like oh my god don't freaking marry but god a positive video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 4 Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. Ooh, okay, gunshots. All right. That is nuts.
Is everything okay? <laughs> what are you playing? Okay. Oculus, you know, VR, let's go. Ain't no Beat Saber! <laughs> Yeah, not the table! Oh my god! I mean, hold up. It, it's smart. She's wearing it like it's a skirt. <laughs> We're going shopping. We're getting panties. Please don't. It's not a costume, it's a regular outfit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kind of normal. Hell, I barely wear skirts. I just feel like I don't look good in skirts. I mean, I have nice legs, but like, you know. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I have seen good skirts, like, really good skirts on Amazon and I kind of want them, you know, Ugh, but money. Yeah, taking a bath and going on the freaking internet, girl. Cute. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> hmm? But this is our main objective. I mean, yeah, panties and you know, underwear. I mean, yes. Uh, right, yeah. Well, 
guys. Please. <laughs> well, damn, that sounds good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You can have a cheat day. Look at her, that's the look of love of my Oh, poor baby, you too short. Hmm. There you go. He kind of looks blind. Oh, they went to the aquarium. But yeah, it, it's a sea. It's a horse. It's sea horse. Jesus Christ, my words. Well, not today. You're just a regular girl.
Mm, okay. You're looking for someone. Who? Once again, who? Oh. Oh. Girl. Well, please tell me he ain't dead or something, Jesus. I don't like the feeling of this. Something bad gonna happen. Mm hmm. Holy shit. Well, you know, bad guy. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Kitty Sir just said, I'm taking lives today. Are you serious? My boy, hold up.
Damn, that was ready too. You're telling me he only got shot once. One time. And I set him down. Listen to your girlfriend. You go home and talk about it at home. Well, I mean, you know, he's still down there. He probably has something else, like, you know, extra guns, extra bombs. But, um, you want to be smart, safe, secure. I'm just saying. Are you going to try it on? <laughs> Now she's wearing panties now. <laughs> okay, I got questions. Number one. All right, so we know. What <laughs> come back to last week? No, 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 no. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back now. Okay. First thing. So the guy that she's looking for is the guy that we also met last week. But why hasn't he said anything to her? Like, oh, he just wants, she just wants to say thank you to him. Hold up. But wait, that's too much. It's only episode four now. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's not bad as I thought he was. I mean, but still. Still, we're going to keep him to the side right now because, you know, Mr. Other, the actual kitty told me you're wanting to kill everybody. Yeah, that's the bad guy right there. Yes. Mm. This dude was like, yes, I'm going to take this weapon. And, and like, he just went like a wall. Like, yeah, he, oh, my God. That happened. That really happened today. I don't know how to feel. 
Oh, and of course, of course, he gets out alive, of course! What the <laughs> I don't know how to feel right now. Oh my god, bro. Okay, one, I really like the fact that, you know, he he's playing a villain in it. I mean, really, because like almost every other thing that I've watched him in, well, between this and then, you know, freaking irregular no, no, he wasn't in that wrong show, wrong show. Chivalry. Yeah, he technically was a bad... Well, no, he was more of an asshole in that, so... He's not really a bad guy in that, but, like, in this... Yeah, like, but... Like, it, it's different. I like it. Oh, my God. Like, it, it just makes me, like, kind of wonder... God, you know, one day. One day, you know, yeah. One day, one season, and I say, yo, really, yeah, it's cute. What's that? No, no, because... No, no, like, Kitty Joe wasn't really bad, technically. He's always been good. The beater thing, no, so... <laughs> I mean, but yes, it would be nice if one season, it would be really interesting just to see him, like, go down the bad route, but it's Kitty's O. Kitty's O, I got it. <laughs> Kitty's O, that's not gonna happen at SAO. Maybe, you know, no, we we have hope. Don Machi, we have Don Machi hope, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Patrons, like, they're, they're gonna be like, why the fuck is she laughing about this ish? And then it's like, okay, the Patreons, uh, there's one particular that I'm thinking about right now. I'm literally, it's gonna be Saturday, and, and literally, Bochy Rock is gonna come out, and the first thing I'm going to see is so that Kitty Talk. <laughs> But yes, I would like to see it. But it, it, it's just, okay. I'm not surprised that he got out alive because come on now. Of course. So I'm guessing like, because he is our, you know, quote unquote big baddie and shit. He's not going to die until like the final episode. Duh. But I really like him in this role. Like damn, I, it's just, it's something different. And I think a lot of people who initially when they found out that he was going to be in the show I, I mean that was probably like a plus for a lot of people who really like him as a voice actor but to see him go from like any other thing that I've seen him into this like <laughs> I mean well cause see I kind of said the same thing no what did I mm. yeah I did I mean well hmm I did, yeah, 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 technically, because, I mean, with, with her character, and with her seiyu, and especially with, like, everything, uh, I'm talking about Megami and Ogata, for, for, for an example, anything that she's in, and most recent things that I've seen her in, she always plays, like, the, you know, the cutesy calm, you know, <laughs> precious baby and such, and then when you see her, once again, in Akudama Drive, or in Danganronpa, especially Danganronpa 2, <laughs> she is playing someone completely different. So, like, if you've watched Jujutsu Kaisen Zero and seen her, like, her voice for, you know, really her portrayal of Yuta, and then going into Danganronpa, or even Akudama Drive, or, um, even if you knew her for, like, her most notable roles, Evangelion, um, freaking car Captain Sakura, and then seeing her do something that's really dark, like, oh yeah, because, like, the first time when your girl got to Danganronpa 2 and, and Mr. <laughs> Nino Komaida, I was
was like, oh my god, like, damn, Kadaka, you really made this girl go crazy tonight for this game. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, because that's how I feel, especially with, you know, this role for, for our Kirito, because it's so freaking different, but in a good way, in a really good way. But something tells me that, of course, our girls are going to cross paths with him, like it's somewhere, shape, or form. Like, you know how, um, oh my god, and freaking, um... I'm blanking. It is on the t Okay, there we go. Judge's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. You know how, like, every single time in any episode that it could have been, especially when, um, Kidda... You, you, <laughs> yeah, it's Kidda, basically. Any time when, um, Josuke and the rest of them, like, enter, like, passed by them not even knowing that he's the big bad like i feel like we're going to get that with them like every single time when they get like closer and closer and closer like he could he could be walking somewhere and they are literally walking past him and i'm just gonna be like hello hello right there right there but y'all don't know like yeah i mean heck i was like that when i watched jojo bizarre adventure heck i'm probably gonna be like that tomorrow when stone ocean comes out but really by the time y'all see this it'll be saturday so you know when this comes out on saturday i might be an emotional wreck you know because of stone ocean if you follow me on twitter yeah you'll probably see it mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> But seriously, both of these episodes were really just, like, once again, top tier. Like, damn. I mean, last week's episodes were good as fuck. These two, I mean, just next level. Especially with what he did with the dang train. Like, did I think he... I'm thinking, like, okay, he just going down a freaking train station. Gonna ride on the train in some way, whatever. No, nah, this dude was like... I... 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 Uh, huh? And if uh, he has something else planned in store, and it, and it's about to be like, if a train shooting is like minimal for him, I I can't even like imagine what is going to be like his maximum or his ultimate, like what he wants to destroy. And he's looking at the tower, so maybe he wants to destroy the tower. I don't know. I mean, but the tower is technically already in shambles already. So why would you would destroy it even more? The, oh my god, there's so many unanswered questions. I, I loved also the fact that he hung up on the on the hacker. Like, he, he's over here like, I don't really have time for you. I don't need time. I don't want to make time. I am on my own. Numero uno. Independent. Like, I don't need no... <laughs> I don't need anybody. I'm on my own. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly cannot imagine, like, literally wait to see what the heck y'all are going to be thinking about with the shit that I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I'm like, this girl. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, guys, it is my reaction for episode three and four. Oh my God. Chris Recoil. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.